Welcome back, collectors of rare node modules. This is going to be a short one, but recently I found this library that lets you do drag and drop elements really, really fast. So if I just try and drag one of these, look at that. Look how nice it is. It gives you like a little thingy right here where it's going to land. It follows the mouse and it rearranges everything automatically while you are dragging it. You can see this library is really powerful. And the cool thing is it takes like zero work to set up. Literally one line of code. Of course, the nice thing is it also gives you a lot of control. So it's got a whole bunch of built-in functions and it's got a whole bunch of events that you can subscribe to. It uses CSS for stuff and you can customize the way it looks and feels. It's really nice and I love how it was literally one line to implement. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go get started. Okay, so right here, I've got this HTML file. It's very simple. The only things that you need to be interested in is I've linked two files. They are CSS library and their JavaScript library. And then I've also linked the script and the CSS so that we can edit them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a few divs to drag around. So first, I've just made a div with another div inside of it. This one's got an ID and this one has a class. And I'm just going to put some some stuff in here and I'm going to take this and duplicate it. And I'm going to do it again. And one more time for good measure. Now we've got these divs. I'm going to just give them a tiny bit of CSS, nothing fancy. Just light gray background. 20 pixels of padding, 20 pixels of margin, center the text, and pointer cursor. So if we open this right now, we'll go to the file. We got these, but, uh, You'll see that nothing is actually happening. And I forgot one thing. One fifty pixels. There we go. So now we see these divs, but we can't drag them around. How do we fix that? Well, first things first is I'm gonna make a function in this JavaScript file. And it's gonna do one thing. Dragula, that's the name of the library, in parentheses. And then in curly brackets, you'll do an array with all of the elements you want to make draggable. And, well, the parents whose children you want to make draggable. So this way you can have multiple elements with different children and you can drag in between them and all this stuff just goes in through them. I'll show you that later. But for now, we'll just do document dot query selector drag parent so this will enable it just for this one element just for this drag parent right here and we're going to give this function to run on load 
And the reason it has to run on load is because the element has to already be loaded for this to work. If we just made it like right here, then what would happen is it would run before everything's done loading. So don't do that. Now, ta-da, we can drag them. And I don't know why, but with this specific CSS configuration, they get thicker here on the bottom. I think it's just the way I made the CSS. If you don't do the CSS the way I did, it wouldn't do that. So this is awesome and all, but what about having two columns and you can drag in between them like back and forth because that's really cool. That's part of what makes this library so awesome. I mean, part of it is that look how easy it is. You got draggable stuff when there's like tutorials that are hours long or like using React. They're like, oh, I got this fancy React component, guys. Like, whatever. This is way cooler than that. So I'm going to just really quickly make this just going to make another one of these. I'm going to call that drag parent one. And then I'm going to do one last thing here. I'm going to set them up to be flex boxes. You don't need to worry about this. All right. So I've made them flex boxes side by side. This one doesn't drag though. So all we gotta do is add another element to this array. I'm gonna just copy this, paste it here, and change this to drag parent one. Now, if we reload, look at this. You can drag to any part of either element and it just works. Look how cool this is. And all literally one line of code. So I'm going to be using this for my podcast app because your podcasts, you can rearrange them, right? I want you to be able to do this. You can move them wherever you want. And right now, if you go here on the podcast app, what you get is this super janky, like, oh, I'll, I'll put this here. And then it just doesn't work. And sometimes it does. And you get no preview of the order you're going to get. It's just really terrible. And so I'm going to replace it with this. And it's going to be way better. And the only thing I haven't figured out is how to keep track of the order. But that shouldn't be too hard because, whoops, this gives you all of these events that you can listen to. They let you do a bunch of stuff. And... Uh, the only other thing that is problematic about this is, for example, on this page, if I open this on my phone and try to scroll, it kind of messes with the scrolling, but I think that should be pretty easy to fix. And if you're not doing something with scrolling, like if you're going to be doing a very simple example like this, this will run great on mobile. It works. So, thanks for watching. Whoa. What have I done? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Seriously, do it. It actually it makes a big deal, a big a big difference. And yeah, 99% of the people watching are not subscribed. Whatever. Everybody says that, so who cares? I mean, you should care, but nobody cares, really. Right? I don't care when other people say that. Anyways, <laughs> remember not to safely eject before removing.